Hey guys, welcome in this new Monday Outburst. So today we will talk about the peg. So this one is my homemade peg. So it's a seagull shape. So why I call this seagull shape? Because when you see um, uh, when you see on the book uh, on seagull, it will look like this. So it's a seagull shape. This peg. Um, is my own peg. It's not finished yet. Uh, it need to be sanded. Uh, this one is fresh out of the mold. So um, I will explain to you uh, how I hold my peg and how you should hold your peg. I will explain to you why. I do this video because uh, first it's Monday and second because I saw and I heard some people say uh, why uh, you say in your video you're holding your peg hold your peg like this so like this uh, at the joint of the last joint of the two first fingers and I'm holding it like this so maybe you will see better like this so why I'm holding my peg like this instead like this. So in first because I don't like to put so I you will be at the tip of the glider. So and the glider will be at my place. So I don't like to put the peg like this for have the good offset for the peg because reverse the glider. It will need to be like this for be at each joint. So I hold it. This is the angle of the peg for be correctly offset for my finger. I don't like how it look and it will be not really easy for this bump to fit perfectly in the wing. So for the force of the of the launch it will be not good as it will not be really well so and one other option is to put the peg like this for perfectly fit my finger late because as you know we are not same all my if look you look my fingers of my right hand of my left hand you can see my uh, this one is not the same length and this one too so it's not really same for this joint to this joint and this joint to this joint so so as you can see if my right right hand and my left hand are not same your uh, your hand are certainly not same as mine so your offset will be different on your and uh, how you hold your peg will surely be different. How I hold my peg is my this joint is on the peg and this joint is just at the training edge of the peg. Like this and like this. Okay? It's for have a good grip. And why I don't put uh, my peg with this offset, I will explain to you. It's because uh, I don't want to put critical forces on uh, on the tip of the glider because uh, on my stream I uh, two years ago I did it like this and I broke all my tips. Why? Because if I miss a bit the release, all the forces are on this side and crack. So man, if you broke your tip. You need to know your peg is too much like this. So put your peg straight and offset your finger or offset your finger, offset your peg like this. Your release need to be symmetrical and for your release be symmetrical 
you, your peg of set or your finger of set need to be perfect. So me, uh, I my choose goes on the finger of set. So for uh, like this, my longer finger just go more forward than my shorter finger, and then the force as are the same on both fingers. So it's my choice. It's all I do. If I said something different in my video of how to launch your DLG is because at this moment I think different than now for for all beginners need to know how to do. So now I think beginners if you are building your own DLG uh, you need your peg need to fit perfectly your hand. So beginners just put your peg in the hole for the peg without glue and just hold it and say okay like this I really like it and then just make it doesn't move and put a drop of CA and then you can glue it really well and then it will fit perfectly your finger so just do it like this and you will see it will be really comfortable if I need to say something for have the good offset for your peg just put it in the hole found your sweet spot and drop off CA and then glue it correctly that's it so if you want a V2 of how to launch your DLG please comment down below if you want to see more vlogs of what I'm do what I'm doing of my days uh, say it in the comment and um, if you want to know more about me I do a special video of uh, who I am so my hobbies it's uh, all all things and maybe videos of my other hobbies um, who knows or you can just ask me to do a video of on something else yeah just ask I will reply if it's not possible or not so stay tuned for it <laughs> and as you know I always reply to the command so yeah comment down below and if you like this video drop a like if you're not already subscribe uh, which side is it it's here yeah I believe it's here so you can subscribe here and thank you for the 340 subscribers today um, thank you really 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 much and see you later bye ciao